Early in algebra, we learn that x plus a squared is x squared plus 2ax plus a squared. And then we learn that if we want to cube the binomial x plus a, we'll have to take x cubed, add to that 3x squared a, add to that 3x a squared, and add to that a cubed. The binomial theorem offers formula for the nth power of such binomial, where n is the positive integer. The formula is that x plus a to the power n is the sum, written in sigma notation in concise form, as sum from k equals 0 to n, n choose k, x to the power n minus k, times a to the power k. n choose k is that binomial coefficient that we discussed earlier. When we expand the sum, we'll obtain the sum that is written right here. It might be difficult to think that I'm able to memorize all of this, but if you look at the pattern that, that um, such sum shows, then it is not so difficult. Notice the pattern of coefficients. We start with n, n choose 0, then we go n choose 1, n choose 2, and so on, until we go to n choose n minus 1 and n choose n. Now notice at the, val at the x, you have x to the power n, x to the power n minus 1, x to the power n minus 2. So you can see that the powers of x are decreasing, finally coming to x equals 0, to power 0. Then if you look at the powers of a, you can see that a appears in each term, but the powers of a are 0. Then in the next term we have 1, 2 n minus 1 n. So the powers of a are increasing from 0 to n. Also, if you look at the exponents of the terms of x and a, you will see that n minus 2 plus 2 is going to be always um, n. So if you look at those terms, the sum of those exponents is always n n minus 2 plus 2 is n, n minus 1 plus 1 is n, n plus 0 is n, and here we should have 1, it's also n. So the powers of x and a will always adapt to n. So there is this pattern, and if you know that pattern, you can write the formula. For example, you can quickly write the formula for x plus a to the power, let's say, 5. We know that it's going to be the sum, so we'll start with 5 to 0, the first term. Then we'll have x and a there. You start with x to the power 5, and if you start with x to the power 5, then a will be to the power 0. The next term will have a coefficient 5 to 1. x will have exponent 1 less than before, and a will have exponent 1 more than before, and so on. The coefficient will be 5 choose 2, x exponent will reduce by 1, and the a exponent will increase by 1, and so on. 5 choose 3 will have x squared a to the third, and then 5 choose 4, x to the first, a to the fourth, and we'll have 5 choose 5, that's where we know we stop, We'll have x to the 0 and a to the 5th power. And we'll have the expansion of the 5th power of binomial x plus a.